Oh, no. Rick, I'm going to start with you because he's your boy. I know you got that 73 jersey. What do you make of the game Vinny had? To me, he's he's struggling a little bit. The game seems quick. I just think that he's in his own head too much. He's not playing the simple way that he was when he first came up. If it wasn't for that one goal, I don't think everybody would be saying exactly the same thing. Like He has not looked great. Um, you're... You, you don't want to see, you don't want to really notice him in a game, right? That's just one of the guys where unless he's out there like banging bodies, like mm-hmm. you don't want to notice what he's doing with the puck. That one play though, man, like he could not go. He took it behind the net. He had no other choice. He couldn't go along the glass because there's a forward right there. He had a forward, right? He had a forward, he had a pass. Um, it obviously wasn't the right, the right move. It went off the skate, which is a little bit of bad luck. He didn't actually have a lot, a lot of options at that point. I think you could have just flipped the puck hot, really high and got it out. But yeah, I think this is on the coaches. Um, they said earlier, before at the end of the deadline, that the Oilers could have made another move, but they felt like they had that player here already. That's obviously seventy three. Mm-hmm. It's going to be up to Manson to to limit the ice time. And if this if this is a faster team, a more puck moving team that we're playing against, then those are obviously going to be Broberg minutes right now. And I think it's up to the coaching staff to find a time to put the proper player out there. Um, I don't think Broberg's ready to take all the minutes, so I don't think he can go 12-6. and six, But I'm not really willing to give up on the kid yet either. Dan, what's your take on Vinny? Well, so, I mean, I've been on the kid's case since game two of the Kings series um, in the sense that I thought he should have been given a night off during the Kings series. I don't think that's an option anymore. Uh, I'm with Rick on the se- in the sense that early on in that game, the Oilers need to be supporting the Oilers more than they were, and they were just leaving Vinny DeHarnay or insert any other defenseman's name here uh, out to the Wolves and have that kind of an opportunity happen. The Golden Knights forecheck in the first period was unreal, and the Oilers just need to do a better job of supporting each other there. Now, on De- DeHarnay, he needs to stop. He To me, he's the microcosm of the Oilers. When he gets frustrated with something, he's reacting poorly afterwards and it's you know it's a it's a combination of issues that are happening and it just can't continue he can't be throwing cross checks and and hitting guys after the whistle if he's not performing in the game as well it's it's just going to draw the ire of the team of the fans and of the referees so uh, i just I, like i think day is going to figure it out i think the team just needs to do a better job of supporting a guy like him when he's clearly struggling liam uh yeah i mean I don't think there's a lot more to add on top of it. Like, obviously, I think the biggest thing with Vinny is like when he makes a mistake, unfortunately, it ends up in the net. It It just puts the camera on him a little bit more. But at the same time, like, he is a six, seven defenseman. And I don't think it should be a difficult decision if the others need to take him out of the lineup. Like, shouldn't be that big of a deal for it all. But also, I think a big thing depends on if like Yanmark is available next game, if you can bring him in, and also the availability of Derek Ryan, too. But I don't think it would be a bad thing for him to sit up there as well. And if the Oilers ran a Philip Broberg in a six man unit and played him 12 minutes a night, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be horrendous. But I think a big thing with Vinny is it's like, where do you like start him? Right? Like if you start him in a defensive zone, it seems like errors are being occurring there. The neutral zone, like right off the face off, it kind of worked out that way too. And then he doesn't have the offensive skill set as well. So it's kind of just an awkward player i suppose in that sense of things but i think having one night off wouldn't kill him i don't think it's the end of the world that he's kind of playing this bad but you need to find a way he needs to find a way to get back into the rhythm of things you're confident putting uh broberg out there for like 12 13 minutes whatever it is Uh, yeah i would be i think it would only be maybe like two more shifts for him and he he seems to have a bit more confidence with the puck which i think is the biggest difference between him and Vinny. i just saw like even in the last game there's he Obviously, he doesn't have the physical, mm-hmm. the same physical game. And there were times where they were coming around the corner, coming around, yeah, around the boards there, and he was unable to stop them. Whereas they are yeah. usually. That's why I kind of want to keep running the seven the, and leave it up to the coaches to to figure out when the, and where they should be out there. The difficulty about sorry about Vinny and Broberg is they're almost the complete opposite of each other. Yeah, and so I'm you're not losing one, you're losing the benefits of that on yeah. the other way around, right? So yeah. it is maybe twelve and six. Uh, 11 and 7 is the right way. I don't know. But Vinny need, minutes need to come down and needs to be put in better positions. Tyler? Yeah, he can't play game two. He, I, I, I don't know. You guys are being nicer about it. But I just... <laughs> he was on the ice for eight and a half minutes last game and they scored three times and he was a center focus on most of those goals. He can't play game two. We're not here to like make guys feel good or whatever. Like Win hockey games. 